Hello there fellow embassies, I am Corbin Scythe and today we're going back into Call of Cthulhu. We have just escaped the mental asylum at uh, the Darkwater Island. And together with uh, the no Ampers, uh, the police officer and his assistant or some nurse, I don't quite remember, we managed to escape but before we did that we saw uh, one of Sarah Hawkins' uh, friends being strapped up in a um, straitjacket, and then he was uh, not so pleasantly destroyed and ripped. Was he ripped apart? No, I don't think so. He was simply uh, mauled to death while floating in the air by some invisible being that is uh, has been mentioned to be a shambler, a dimensional walker. Of some kind. Yeah. Now we're back at the Hawkins mansion and we're going to figure out what is going on here. Pierce woke up in an asylum installed in the cellars of the Riverside Institute. He met Dr. Colden, a female friend of Bradley, who helped him to escape. Wandering through the corridors of this place where Dr. Fuller reigned supreme, Pierce was able to talk to a man called Francis Sanders. Before dying in full view of the detective, he accused Sarah Hawkins of being the cause of his torments. Pierce finally left a cursed building accompanied by Bradley and Colden. The companion in misfortune decided to use the Hawking Mansion as a hideout. Oh, right! Oh, we're here again. Uh, Charles Hawkins is alive and a part squid. That's important to know. That's a big squid eye. And it's called the Leviathan in this game. The question is, is that, that again. if that really what is a separate entity, or if it is like uh, uh, Rip of Cthulhu? There's nothing there. A line. Interesting. Anyway. No, not crawl. I wanted to run, damn it. Uh. Let's see what these people have to say. How do you feel? Like I've been in an insane asylum. Sleep long. The day is only starting. It's fine. Yeah, okay, no, that was not the share. Uh, yeah. Uh, <clears throat> yeah. How's our fugitive? Dr. Fuller hasn't reported your disappearance to the force, but that'll come soon. Yeah. Bradley? Who else would it be? Mr. Pierce, are you alright? Yeah, right. So a ghost. We did I, see uh, Bradley things, die. I can't explain. Tell us, what happened? Talk to Bradley, Sarah Hawking was the object of a cult. I might be onto a lead. Talk to Colt. Oh, who do I trust, basically? What they had me endure. I have flashbacks. They haunt me. What did they do to you? There was that doctor, Fuller, and a nurse. Blood everywhere. My legs, the pain, I, I couldn't bear it. I was screaming. They injected me with something. Did they? I don't remember this. I woke up at the Institute. Bradley was there. And how you scared us. You seemed demented. You likely woke up during the anesthesia. No wonder those memories haunt you. What in God's name were they doing to you? What happened afterwards? When I woke up the second time, I was in a padded cell. That's where you found me, Doctor. After you released me, I got a good look at what's in store for the patients of the room. Yeah, yeah. Hallucinogenic gas pumped into the cells. An infernal machine. Horrific medical experiments. Impossible. Dr. Fuller would never do such a thing. You should believe it, Ethan. What Mr. Pierce saw is precisely what I've been trying to prove. Did you discover oh, damn. anything else? 
Bradley looks terrified. Did you discover anything else? Uh, I saw people in hoods. They had stolen Mrs. Hawkins' paintings. Who are you talking about? Why would they do such a thing? I don't know, but they were a threat. They've taken over the caves under the mansion. They were performing some kind of ritual. One of the entryways was under Charles Hawkins' office. Right. We suspect Mr. Hawkins of being involved. My patients believe the old islanders used to worship primitive sea gods. Could they be the focus of the cult? Yes. Am I hearing this right? The Leviathan. Be gullible? No, not at all. What else did you uncover, Mr. Pierce? I, I met a Francis Sanders. You know him. Of course, he's a patient. Or was. I haven't seen him since Dr. Pierce <laughs> transferred to the basement. Now let's tell her what actually happened. Sarah Hawkins. And that's what killed him. What? How did he die? How did he die? I'm not sure I can explain it. Tell me how Mr. Sanders died. They called him the Shambler. I didn't see what. But something was there with us. Of what do you speak? Sanders said it was Sarah Hawkins' visitor. Ooh. He spoke of it like a living being. Sarah Hawkins? Have I missed something here? This makes no sense. I don't see how it can help crack the Hawkins case. You really think she's involved? How could she have murdered Mr. Sanders? Francis Sanders mentioned Mrs. Hawkins just before dying. It's no coincidence. You know, Francis Sanders was a well-known art collector. <laughs> I guess you can still pay a visit to his wife, Irene Sanders. An art collector, you say? That's probably how they met. If you plan on having dinner at the Sanders household, please spare the widow the tale of her late husband's suffering. I don't agree. She deserves the truth. Yeah, but not for... Oh, yeah, no, I am a PI. We don't know the bottom of it. Let's stay prudent, better to confront the truth. She doesn't need to know, I think, until we You're figure right. more things out. Without a plausible explanation for what I saw, let's not jump to conclusions. That seems wise indeed. Very well. This will affect your destiny. What the hell are you talking about? Perhaps I'll find a link between her husband's hmm. death and Sarah Hawkins. Don't end up in the hospital this time. <laughs> I'll do my best. I'm not planning to. Consult diary. Jur journal. Uh, in theory, Francis Sanders was a renowned art collector. I must question his widow, Irene Sanders, to know more about his links with Sarah Hawkins and to discover the identity of the visitor he talked about before he died. Yeah. We have three points. Uh, ah, here we go. Yeah. Boom. And let's see. Oh, we have our different mental traumas now. So we have... Ah, okay. Nightmares, the ritual, macabre discovery, and the death of Francis Sanders. Shaken. The ordeal having gone through have left their mark, but you still manage it as best you can. You keep your mind busy in order to chase away doubts and painful memories. You still have some way to go. Who knows where your own mind could lead you along the path of insanity. Nasty business. We missed something here. A medical record of Francis Sanders. Inventory, just a hurricane lab. Yeah. Ooh. Francis Sanders. Charles Hawkins. Oh yeah. So ugly bastard, all right. Settlers of the Riverside Institute. Let us go now, and learn the truth about what's happening on this island. The other night's events are still confused in my head. Okay. 
So previously you could uh, ask, uh, talk to either one of them pers uh, uh, in private. And this gives me more of a clue that Bradley is not what he claims to be anymore. Mm. Talk to the Sanders widow. How do I go about that? Because there are no cell phones in this place. In this era. How do I find... A, how do I contact her? Uh, uh, oh. I can't exit through here. I'm assuming I need to go out and ah, leave. Yeah, I thought we were looking for uh, a way out, but that was much easier than I expected. Peter, Scolden and Bradley decided to team up to solve the Sarah Arkin case. They have a new trail to follow, Francis Sanders, an art collector and a friend of the painter who died right in front of Piers. The detective goes to his house in order to speak to his widow about the shambler that the unfortunate man mentioned before he died. Oh, okay, we just go directly to her home. What can I do for you, sir? Mrs. Sanders, I'm a private detective. We must talk about your husband and his ties to Sarah Hawkins. Can I come in? You may. Is this how, how people run or RPGs? No, you just flash yesterday. from one place that to another? precisely what brings me here. Cats. Well, well, look who's here. You know each other. We met briefly. Time enough to iron out a few matters. Yeah. That we understood one another. The brave detective has a talent for sticking his nose into my business. Mm. I bump into her every time I'm investigating someone's death. It's a small island, detective. My island. It's better that it's you bumping into me. <laughs> investigating Francis' death. Why? Who hired you? I spoke to Francis before he died. His story suggests a link to a case I'm working on. Well, since this business has got nothing to do with me, I'll be in your husband's office, Irene. We'll carry on later. Very she well, has Baker. phenomenal dress code, though. This way, Mr. Pierce. Cat looks amazing. And do make yourself comfortable. It would seem that you have much to tell me. Yeah, I guess we do. But let's not talk about uh, supernatural and occult stuff. You had the opportunity to talk to my husband. <laughs> Yesterday, I met him at the hospital. He spoke to me about Sarah Hawkins. Oh, of course he spoke to you about her. That's all he talked about. Sarah Hawkins and her paintings. You're very calm considering that your husband di died less than 24 hours ago. The fact is that I have not been allowed to see him since he was interned. Uh. You, on the other hand, a perfect stranger, were able to see him and even talk with him the day he died. How was he? Were you present when he had this attack? What happened? You... Oh... I cannot comfort her. That's interesting. He died screaming right before my eyes. No, I was no longer there when it happened. You're taking it quite well. That's, I believe. I expected to find you more grief stricken than this yeah. by the death of your husband. I do not like the tone of your illusion, sir. I had long months to weep every tear in my body and to accept, if not my fate, at least that of my husband. And so I'm sorry to disappoint you if you're expecting more hysteria and grieving widow in my voice. Rest assured, however, my anger is real. Okay. I need to understand. How, how could this happen in a reputed institute? And, and right before your eyes, did you not do anything to help him? Mm, it wasn't me who sent him there. What? I share your grief, but I had nothing to do with it. Hold test eloquence. 
Ah, she agreed, but I had nothing to do with that. Okay, so she's suspecting me of foul play? Sure. It's terrible what happened to your husband, but I had nothing to do with it. I was injured, and I came across him in the hospital quite by chance. Injured? Well, I'm delighted to see you in such fine fettle, Detective. Not everybody enjoyed such a prompt recovery. I, I suppose Fuller does do miracles now and again. <laughs> Luck is obviously very kind to you. Oh, I'm tired, Mr. Pierce. I would be grateful if you could tell me what you expect of me, and then leave. Oof. Tell me about the Dimensional Shambler. Oh! We never mentioned in-game that it was a Dimensional Shambler. That's something I've been saying, because I know some Lovecraft lore. What is Kat doing here? How do you know Sarah Hawken? Ah. No, this one... So this is if we're going to... No, we're not even saying that that is what killed him. But it could be an art piece. I deduce that your husband already mentioned this dimensional shambler. <laughs> well, you can't imagine that's all he talked about. <laughs> it's exhibited yeah. at the center of the gallery. Yeah, exactly. No better place for the painting that endowed him with the privilege of such a shameful and miserable end to his life. Hold on. The Shambler is a painting by Sarah Hawkins. Who else to paint such horrors? Take a look for yourself. Ooh. If you feel so inclined. It is my this. only lead at this stage. I suppose I have nothing to lose. I want to see some then Lovecraft you horror. No heed. For my part, I refuse to set foot in that gallery again. But if you are so eager to see it, thank you, Mrs. Sanders. I won't be long. Show me the dim. Show me dimensional shambler. Uh... It's clear that she holds Sarah Hawkins responsible for the death of her husband, but what I don't understand about Irene Sanders is this mix of sadness and intense... intensity. Uh, it looks like she had given up on her husband long before his horrid death in the cellar of the Riverside Institute. Yeah, kind of did, wasn't it? Did she really care for him, after all? I acknowledge, uh, dear madam, I acknowledge receipt of the letters in which you demand the body of your deceased husband. I am sorry to inform you that I cannot agree to return his body to you. At the moment of this informant, you, you signed a discharge allowing me to dispose of his body as I see fit. I extend my deepest condolences to you, Thomas Fuller. God damn. The day the Shambler came into the Sanders' lives. Huh. So that's a picture of the picture of the Shambler. And uh, Sarah, I'm assuming. And Irene and uh, whatever his name was. Sarah Hawkins next to the Sanders. They must be close. Oh. We, let's investigate. Ow. That is bright. Examine the Shambler. Ooh, psychology. Francis Sanders and Sarah Hawkins were close. Friends, even? Yeah, I don't think there was a relationship between them. That doesn't, doesn't make sense. Uh, investigation. Sanders' accession register. He wrote beside the Shambler. Finally. What did Sarah Hawkins fear so much that she didn't want to sell the painting? He did receive it as a gift. Can we per possibly f see that? Uh, underground antechamber. The Last Supper. Maybe here somewhere. Letter or complaint. Agent's letter. Sales letter. Here we go. Um, Gift. The Shambler. Yeah, she didn't want to sell it, but she was fine with uh, giving it away. Meaning that there is some kind of greedy curse, perhaps? Uh, if money exchange hands, 
for it, then they can't... Uh, oh, here it is. Then something awful will happen. So she just gave it away because she can't uh, sell it because of magic reasons. He finally won. Was Sanders aware of his imminent doom? What do you look like? I mean, it's perfectly fine that it, if it looks like this, but this is a memory fragment, kind of, so it's not supposed to look like this. But a dimensional uh, shambler does not uh, hold up in three-dimensional space. It simply can't. Uh, she first refused to sell the painting. Yeah. How did that make her feel? Already touched upon that. Was she jealous of Sarah Hawkins? Not jealous. Uh, you were maybe jealous, but more angry. Cult. Ah! I. Oh. Unlocking shit. Oh. The Shambler. I need to see it. What the fuck was that? At Sanders. Yeah, we saw that. Uh, Cross-checking the information given by Francis Sanders and his widow, it is possible to reconstruct the events that led to the internment of Sanders. Everything points to Sanders and Sarah Hawkins being close. Oh, okay, that's what it was. Uh, he saw the, sh uh, the Shambler, and that is something that is very typical for Lovecraftian lore. That once, you once you've seen uh, what is truly hiding in this world, you can no longer unsee it, and so you go insane, and in his case, he scratched his eyes out. Uh, very classic Lovecraft. Uh, Everything points to Sanders and Sarah Hawkins being close, linked at least by the interest that the collector showed in the artist's work. But more probably by a certain friendship attested by the reputed refusals of Sarah Hawkins to sell the painting called The Shambler. Against all expectations, she finally gave it away for free. The feelings still shown by Irene Sanders towards Sarah Hawkins are evidently derived from what she considers to be the artist's responsibility. Madness struck Sanders a short while after he gained possession of the painting. I believe Sarah was a dreamer. She could see shit no one else could see. And she, without knowing what she was doing, put it into a painting. Question is, are we going to go insane when we see the Shambler? Let's see what this cylinder has to say once it's inserted in a phonograph. Oh, a phonograph. An order covering that Francis Sanders left for his wife, Irene. Fancy that. Can't open there. Hmm. Also locked. You're just gonna allow me to look around for everything, for whatever I wish. Sure. Let's run in the hallway. Give me a pair of scissors so I have something to run with. That's Irene. Mm. Anything else here? Yes, yeah, something here. Nothing there. Oh, yeah. Skulls. Uh, so he was a collector of the macabre. Is that going to is that supposed to be the mountain of madness? Well, hello. Dissertation of an anatomical question. It is the work of a student in a book form. Although the observations are relevant, they lack the expertise of an experienced physician. However, the question asked allow us to imagine new ways to explore human anatomy. Ah, right. Uh, we learned some medicine. Oh, a dream catcher. A strange Amerindian pendant. An ancient amulet, probably Amerindian. Oh, American Indian. Amerindian. I believe that's how that word came to be. I wonder what its purpose 
Mm, could be. Yeah, no, it's not a dream catcher. It looks like a necklace. The whale and the cod. A brief history of dark water by Urban Greenmouth. It is focused on the past glory of the island. I could use one of those. Mm, more sleeping pills. I found these sleeping pills in the Sanders house, where they prescribed to Francis Sanders or to Irene. Strange. For months, Sarah Hawkins refused to part with her painting. Okay. To finally, give it away for nothing. Okay, so she didn't want to give it away at all. Not that she didn't want to sell it. Dear Francis, I beg you to give up all hope of ever owning this accursed painting. If our friendship has any meaning to you, please spare me the weight of guilt. I cannot be the architect of your fall. I beg you, my dear friend, forget the shambler. Your friend, Sarah Hawkins. Hmm. So she knew it was an old wrong. diary. This volume spends some time on Reverend the Wickwood community. His wife expressed her worries about the strange dreams that the Reverend congre congregation are having since the, her arrival on the island. Some members of the community, her husband included, began to speak of their vision as a messenger sent by God. She is scared by the will that they will suffer the same fate as the Lost Tribe. Who the fuck are the Lost Tribe? Dire of the Pastor's Wife, Volume 3. Strength? <laughs> Fuck yeah. Key to the Sanders Gallery. Yeah, boy. Would you read the book? Sure. Malleus Bestiarium, Volume 2. Beyond reality, except to read an unholy book. This will affect your destiny. Well, fuck me. <laughs> it is a, a kind of encyclopedia of a monstrous and unknown creatures. I'm beginning to believe that they exist. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, cat, what do you have to That's say for yourself? You stepped on my toes, detective. Oi! Try not to make a habit of it. I've got a lot of bad habits. Some can be more fatal than others. What have you come looking for in this gallery? I've been trying to cut you out of my bad habits, but it seems uh, difficult. I'm not here to create problems with you. Uh, it's none of your business. I'm not a painting by Sarah Hawkins. I got to verify the paintings for a buyer. I'm not here to cause trouble, if that's what's worrying you. Worry me? Don't overestimate yourself. If the last beating wasn't enough for you, I can always give it another go. But as long as you keep out of my way, you're free to carry on with your visit. And what are you doing here? And you? What brings you to the Sanders home? I'm here on business. Irene asked me to liquidate all these paintings. Ooh. She doesn't intend to hang around here for long. Why you? Believe it or not, there aren't many collectors on Darkwater. It needs someone with a network mm. and a means of transport to the mainland. A choice that comes down to Fitzroy and me. And I'm far mm. more pleasant, wouldn't you say? Oh yeah, you're far more pleasant. Not now, sweetheart. <gasps> I'd like to read this without some snoop looking over my shoulder. <sighs> you're killing me, cats! Oh, now we... Oh, wow. Now this is big. Ah, okay, no. We, oh no, we're gonna have to hide again. God damn, we're gonna have to hide from monsters. Ah. Okay, bioluminescent uh, carvings. Well, that is horrific. Okay, um, hmm, is all you have to say? Fine. Oh, it's actually a mask on top of uh, the stone. It's not actually carved into them. Interesting. Oh. These artifacts date from pre-Columbian times. Yep. 
Yeah, unfortunately, this doesn't say, oh, lord. Those things didn't say a whole lot, now did they? God damn, he was wealthy! The entire wing of his manor into an art gallery. God damn. Just look at the gnarly shit he has there. A baby strangling a duck. As anatomically correct skin the human. A grizzly. Or maybe a polar bear. A polar bear. Tearing into a seal. Let's run in the manor. Oh. That is not an angel. August string buddy. That same baby and duck again. What the hell is this? Is that what you look like before you grow tentacles? A lion or a gorilla? A bear? Here's a lion. Ah! Oh! Here we fucking go. Let's do... Okay. It looks like it's a big maw that's coming right at you. Now that's a great picture. Oh, that ain't right. That is not cool. Oh, don't have me running now. Oh no 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 oh fuck you Oh It's not just the painting is coming to life, it's a fucking portal for the shambler And we have Oh fuck off Yeah it's actually kinda accurate to the shambler I know of Oh, fuck off. That ain't right. Oh, wow. That is just fucked up and terrifying. Consult. Okay, nothing. What the hell was that? Yeah, that was the Shambler, boy. I was not paying attention! Ho! Fuck off! Yeah, it's funny. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh! Oh my god! My heartbeat! Whoo! It, I couldn't locate uh, my uh, where I was in there. Motherfucker that had me going. Oh! Whoo! Let's try that again. Oh, I'm, I'm shaking. Fucking hell. What the hell was that? <sighs> oh, 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 I'm not built for this shit. Oh. What the hell was that? Can't crawl either. <sighs> Rev. How do I get out of here then? So my, what am I supposed to do? I there was something I could touch, but is it supposed to do something? Fucking ass! Fucking ass! Damn! Did it hit? Maybe I can use this dagger. How though? Cut the painting, is that what I'm supposed to do? Damn. Fuck off! I 
I was so close. Okay, I got it. I understand what I'm supposed to do now. Fuck you. I'm gonna kill you now. Bitch! Oops, I completely... There we go. What the hell was that? Okay, so the tricky part is getting to the weapon. Coming in here, I'm gonna have to fuck you up. You ain't shit. Damn, maybe I can use this dagger. Whoops, hey! Yeah, no. So shaky. What is it? Fifth time? What the hell was that? Fucking run! Bitch! This is tricky because. <sighs> Give me a second. I need to adjust the camera. What the hell was that? Something tells me I should be able to put the thing on fire as well. <sighs> this is getting annoying. Does it say anything else? The sensor are close, it's hand in my mind. Uh, but to her house speaks for her. Everything began with Francis and obsession with the Shander and exemplary pain in more ways than one. Sneak over here. Yeah, 
saw me. My heartbeat is still up in the air here. Saw me? Doesn't see me. Damn. Maybe I can use this dagger. Highways crawling past me here. There it was. So the painting, uh, cutting it is not enough. I have to put it on fire. God damn it. Fuck off. Go away. I am putting a stop right here to it here. We will see if when I get back to it because my blood is pumping too much right now. Uh, so yeah, a um, bit disappointed that I couldn't fix it, uh, but yeah, we'll see how it goes. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one, and uh, hopefully we'll kill a shambler by then. Goodbye.